starts now. Good evening. Glad you're with us tonight. The state superintendent of education has approved 25 more school district reopening plans, including Greenville counties, bringing the statewide total to 31. And there is a catch. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell explains. Greenville County Schools reopening plan contains a lot of details. It's more than 80 pages long. It's taken all summer long for a, a team of very uh, talented and dedicated people to uh, come up with this plan that offers the best of both worlds. In short, families can choose a virtual program, which nearly a third of families have, and in-person learning. How often students actually make it back in the classroom depends on the spread of COVID-19. We now know that even with a high rating of COVID-19, it could also be possible to have one, perhaps two days of in-person attendance. Philip Watts says his family has chosen virtual for their young kids. There's no right decision. The decision is going to be what's best for your family. State Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman has approved Greenville County's plan, but with a caveat that in-person learning be available by September 14th. No one has a crystal ball to be able to predict what the COVID-19 spread rate will be by September 14th. Um, it's wishful thinking to believe the conditions will be right to have students back in school. A spokesperson from the Department of Education says a change in the virus's impact between now and the start of school would change plans approvals. I reached out to the State Department of Education today and I said, what if COVID-19 is so bad that all health and medical professionals are saying that, that uh, in-person school is ill-advised? Uh, a spokesman for the State Department of Education said in that event uh, they would reevaluate uh, this date of September 14th. The superintendent for Greenville County Schools said they plan to release the plans for the first day of school on August 24th by August 10th. In Greenville and Maxwell 7 News. Uh, we've covered a lot of this information tonight in our 7 News Back to School special. Take a look.